Darren the Great. Happy over here. Hey, Cookie Phenomenal friends. Welcome back to another recipe today i have for you as you can see i have some green plantain and i have some carrot we're going to be doing some carrot and plantain porridge i already gone ahead and i had up some water to my pan i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to begin my process i did i'm cleaning before i started so the time will be shortened okay so let's go ahead now and begin our recipe I'm going to be adding some cinnamon sticks. I like when my cinnamon sticks are in my curry. If you don't have the sticks, you can use the powder or you can use either. For us, we have to use enough to make sure we get all the flavor kicking, kicking up, right? All right, so let's have the cinnamon, cinnamon sticks in there in the container. I'm going to be using my blender today, guys. I'm going to be blending my stuff together to make sure that everything is in all right let me get my cutter because i'm gonna need it for my evaporated milk so let me begin once this is let me turn this down a little bit so it does not fall out of context and also i'm gonna be adding a little bit of salt i like to add salt to my porridge especially if i'm doing cornmeal or anything with milk that's me i like to do that part as well so me a little bit of salt to start so i'm gonna go ahead now and i'm gonna put everything in the blender you can use your Nutribullet if you want I'm gonna use a blender for this to make sure everything can hold inside of my blender all right so let me get rid of this out of the way guys so we can begin our process for our porridge i'm also going to be using a little bit of my you can use your coconut milk if you have it i'm going to be using this milk today maybe half a cup or a cup of this milk let me pour it in so it can boil together with everything to get myself started all right so once i've done that i'm going to be going ahead now and i'm going to be let me put my, my stove back on medium heat. I'm going to be using my evaporated milk. I'm going to be blending my evaporated milk with my carrot and my plantain. So let's go cutting. All right. Let me know how you like my channel so far. And so on. Give me feedback in the comment sections. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Big up on yourself, guys. Make sure that you watch all of the hearts not some of it but all of it okay let's open up this baby and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna be pouring this in because i need everything to be blended and get it nice okay once i do that and get it like that i'm gonna also be doing something else normally i would have this for the middle part of the black but sometimes you can use your flour or whatever texture you have to make get your your porridge give it a little bit of texture i'm going to be using my lasco cream milk you can use your vanilla as well whatever flavor that you have that you like to use let me get my scissors to cut this i'm going to be blending this with my i'm going to be blending it with my um my carrot and my we're gonna add like three three tablespoons to make sure you get this we need a thickener right and what better than the, the um the vanilla also. all right so let's cover the blender and i'm gonna blend and get it together so give us a minute all right as we can to make sure that 
we want to circulate everything see how thick that is because when we were boiling everything goes down and in let's blend one more time sorry and the fine um carrot so i want to make sure it's smooth so when we make the porridge we'll have a smooth porridge all right today so that everyone can do whatever it is they would like as you can see we have this beautiful mixture of blending stuff all blended out so let's take our time and get everything off because we need everything in our porridge right let's get everything off guys once we get it off gonna put this somewhere so you can sit a little bit and we're gonna be pouring so here we have our stuff boiling so we're gonna pour this into the pan I'm gonna be having the recipe in the description below so you guys will be able to follow everything that I am doing right here okay let me pour everything out as I can to get everything in. We want to make sure that we get that nice, thick, creamy porridge. Because we like flavors, we're Jamaicans. We don't like to have everything unflavored and, and just bland. We want to make it creamy and nice, right? Alright, so once we get that out, right there. We're going to be using and then we're going to be making sure we get no lump or anything in our porridge i love this porridge so much i can tell you i love it if i'm out i want my if, I, if it's not planted and carrot it's not it if i'm making the porridge it's the same thing right so we're going to mix it up and make sure that everything is even out and we have no lumps or nothing in our porridge okay friends so remember one more thing if you haven't subscribed make sure that you subscribe click the link down below in the bottom there here we have our porridge and make sure that you like up the video with them guys click the like button if you haven't clicked it as yet go ahead and like up the video all right so here we have our porridge coming up to a boil let's turn this down a little bit more because we don't want it to come over on us on the stove but we also want to make sure that we're adding all of our ingredients because we need everything to cook together all right so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna be adding my cinnamon powder i already used it but i like to use some of the powder as well to get that flavor kicking all right so we're going to be going to use like a teaspoon, not tablespoon, a teaspoon of the cinnamon powder. We're going to be using our ground nutmeg. We have um, the ground nutmeg here and so on. For me, I like to use the other one because it's like literally the same um, nutmeg because I have the other one I can grate her as well. But you know how we get it over here, we get everything in. In containers all right so let's go ahead and we're gonna sit this out because we want to make sure that everything is distributed for our porridge because we don't want when we're eating we're getting any long so for me I like to make sure my stuff are cooked and ready for um, everything so let me go ahead now and I'm gonna be having my girl nutmeg I roll the same 
teaspoon of nutmeg to get the flavor in. I'm gonna be having some vanilla essence in my porridge, yay! To get all that essence and that nice smell and flavor in. Everything right here is like a half a teaspoon. I'm not using one because it's not a lot of porridge. Then I'm gonna be using my vanilla, okay? Let's have this baby in because I want everything to cook down with my porridge and we're going to allow it to go ahead and cook with everything in it. You can smell that good aroma. We remember we're cooking the, um, the plant and we're cooking the carrots and we're making sure the essences and everything is coming down with it. All right, simple and easy to be made. You can use your flour for thickness if you like. You don't have to use anything. You can get your porridge thick enough to boil it down. But I like to add stuff to mine to get um, more flavors. For the more flavor it is, the more I will drink. <laughs> All right, so let's take our time and let this boil out and get a little bit thicker before we move any further with our porridge. All right. Okay, guys, so here we have our porridge come to a thickening this is so beautiful i love it i don't want it any thicker than this this is good enough for me i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna be sweetening but remember guys if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do so now right down at below at the bottom of my video and if you haven't liked the video click the like button and if you haven't shared share the video right now with your friends and your family and everyone that would like to make this bury and tell them about cooking phenomenal and so on so i'm going to turn the stove off because we're going to be sweetening i'm not going to be using any sugar i'm just going to be using my condensed milk i've already cut to go ahead of time i'm going to be pouring it in i'm not going to be using too much we don't want it too too sweet what we can also do is if it's not sweet to our liking we can also have more if we would like okay we're gonna sweeten and then we're gonna serve and have some porridge because that's what we make it for right so guys here we have our plantain or green plantain and our carrot porridge it's gonna be simply delicious can't wait to eat some Make sure that you guys try this and tell me what you think of my porridge. And I will see you on our next video coming up very soon. Make sure you to click the like button guys. Like, comment and subscribe okay. See you soon. Bless up.